All right, all right, all right. Moving right along. What up, man? Chris Unbiased here with ARP. Yeah, Let's man. talk about a... Uh, it was a surprise for me. You know, I be hearing a lot of rumors, but I didn't hear this rumor. So this was a surprise for me. Big K and X Factor. And I think to a lot of people... When I first hear this battle, first thing comes out to me is like hella jokes. I just feel like the jokes is gonna just fly super crazy in this battle. I don't even I don't even feel like I really care about who wins or loses. I just feel like this. I went back. You know, I've been doing a surf battle record, so obviously I went back to watch X Factor and Surf, and I just was like, "Yo, X Factor was so funny in that in that battle." And I'm just like, the jokes is gonna fly. How did that battle come about? What was the thought process? Who you contacted first to make it happen? And uh. You know, what made you bring X-Factor back to Battle Rap? Uh, that, so me and X-Factor have been talking about battles for for a while. Like, two years, three years maybe. Um, there was a time where we almost did X-Factor versus Gyms. That got very close to getting locked in a while ago. I almost forget some of the details why it, it fell out. Maybe a timing thing. Um, but we've been talking for years about getting him back. And I think after that, we just fell out of touch. Um, if I don't have the thought or the idea of my, I got my mind on so many battles on so many people that I, I'm in constant communications with, it's easy to forget about things that you rock with. And I maybe X Factor, you know, maybe, you know, he wasn't there like that or super heavily invested into that moment carrying forward, or maybe he never reached out, whatever. So when you got two guys that want to work and then we just go off thinking about other shit, it's like, it took us to get back to that interview that we did leading into Max Out 1 for us to remember like, oh shit, like we never got... We never got our battle in. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never got no work done. So I asked him in that interview um, some potential people that he would battle. And it's funny you say the, um, the humor aspect of things. He said Scotty and he said Craig Lamar. And I was in that interview. I was like, those are, those are battles we could definitely get done. Like, fuck with Scotty heavy. Fuck with Craig Lamar heavy. Got to find ways to get both of those guys back ASAP. I was like, all right, we'll talk. You know what I mean? So I had that in the back of my mind. So when we was putting this card together... Um, I thought about X Factor's return once again, so I reached out to him. Um, but prior, I had already had the conversation with Big K about him being on Max Out too. You know, you know, we get the dog almost on every every card. Like that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He always puts on for RBE. Always comes with with a good three rounds for us. Yeah, you know I mean, so you know, you're gonna see the dog on a majority of RBE cards. But um, we already knew he was gonna be on Max Out too. So it was just about, all right, what type of um, matchups are left for us to try to fulfill. We got a big K match we got to fulfill. I'm over here talking to X Factor about maybe trying to get him on a call, us doubling back. Now that it's fresh in my mind that we did the after we did the interview, and it's like speaking of both battles and see if they want to do it. Neither one of them hesitated. Yo, K, you fuck with X Factor? He was like, I'll kill him. Yo, X Factor. I know you said Scotty and Craig Lamar, good matchups, but I got somebody that's. I mean, you gotta be careful, way more careful with on that big stage, <laughs> Max out too. Big K. He's like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, all right. He said yes, he said yes. Contracts, deposits, let's get it done. Now, I did see the response to that matchup. Um, X is a heavy, heavy underdog. I see that. I don't wanna duck that. You know, I got eyes and ears just like everybody else. And um, I, think, I think he deserves that pressure, not from obviously being a legend and having classic performances under his belt from the past, but because he's been away for so long. You know what I'm saying? And it's a, it's a what have you done for me lately type of culture. That's just how it is. That's how they treat platforms. That's how they treat battlers. What have you done for me lately? So with him having that return pressure that Harvey E is so known for fucking doing, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's got other other people from, from the Midwest on the card with him as well. So you got some of that energy there. People like Calico, for example. People like Hitman. I love it. I love his return being on RBE. I love him being there with another guy that can be humorous. And it's finally time for us to get another legend on RBE. I love RBE having the deep resume of like all the legends. Like I want to get, I want to get Lux on, for example. You know what I'm saying? That's why I told X Factor, so I need some priorities. You know what I mean, like I need Verb doing a Showtime. I need Hitman doing a remix. I need X Factor coming on there July 10th and giving me a priorities. I need Daylight with a mask. I used to be on Daylight's heels for a mask. His first couple of battles, like his best battle, one of the best battles of all time versus Oops, no mask. I got to a point where I put a mask in, in Daylight's contract. <laughs> I forget what battle it was. I put a fucking mask in his contract. You know what I'm saying? When he battled Jay Murder, he got to the venue. He was like, y'all left my, 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 my mask at the hotel. 
I was so mad at him. I was like, that battle, I think I had it in his contract. <laughs> and then he made up for it in the ill will battle. And then, but ill will happen to put a fucking mask on. But I say all that to fucking say, um, yeah, that's just RBE shit. Return, return factor. We love that type of shit. Getting a legend on that's never debuted on RBE before. What well, what's his thoughts you know on I mean? Big K? I think initially Does he they, feel like I mean you got you got Big K saying he gonna kill him. What what's X I can't wait. Energy? I can't I'm gonna wait kill to, him. It's gonna be a good battle. I can't wait to interview these two guys because I'm pretty sure X Factor's energy is gonna change. I think X Factor took the battle too respectfully. Mm. Too respectfully. Um, in private conversations, X Factor throws a lot of respect to Big K. Yo, know, he's a good rapper, talented guy, etc. etc. I fuck with him, you know. But you know, watch watch what I do on that stage. You get on the phone with Big K, he's like, yo, he's trash. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> like, he don't belong on the fucking stage with me. All that type of shit. So I told X-Factor that. I was like, yo, you don't have to say energy is you. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let me ask you something about Big K. Does he yeah. ever call you with, like, or does he have a hit list? Or do you no. just call him with matchups? I kind of thought about him in Hollow. Big I then thought about a few matchups for him. And does he ever say, you know what? Yo, book me with so-and-so. I, want, I, I think I can kill him. Of course there's people that Big K wants to get in front of. Um, I'm not going to name him right now because I'm like 99% sure they're going to happen. He's got a bunch of people that he wants to battle. And it's going to happen on RBE ASAP. Um, but K ain't like that. K, K is not going to call me and say, yo, what's up with this person? Or what's up with that? K be off minding his own business. That phone ring. Give him a name. Give him the number, that adds up, date works out, it's go time. He's so easy to work with and he's so he's so straightforward. Like he don't even he don't take a lot of this shit personal at all. That's why you see, you see he don't hang around events. He don't really diss people like that unless they lock them for a battle. He tries to stay a little bit more conservative. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just not K, that's not how he moves. You know what I mean? So you could really literally call him and be like, yo, um, what you think about X Factor? He's like, yo, if he wants to die and you want to pay me, you start writing these fucking rounds. <laughs> if he wants to die, <laughs> if he wants to die and you want to pay me, I'm going to start writing. Like, that's how K is. I love him for it, though. I love that shit about K. Yeah. 